this metric called the equilibrium constant, right? So what does it tell us? The equilibrium constant, represented by Kc, relates to a chemical reaction at equilibrium. Okay, so that's the first highlight there, is that this thing only has to do with things that are at equilibrium, right? That's the first thing. It can be calculated if the equilibrium concentration, equilibrium concentration, so it's a concentration at equilibrium, of each reactant and product in a reaction at equilibrium is known. Okay, so a more general form of the equation for reaction at chemical equilibrium is, now the, what they give us here is they give us, it is given that this is a reaction, right? And this is the formula for Kc for this reaction, in a very general form. Now, because in physical sciences in grade 12, you are asked to write down the formula, and you get marks for writing down the formula, you need to write down a formula for Kc when asked to calculate the equilibrium constant. Now, this is not the formula. This is the formula for this reaction. Now, I'm making a point here. I'm making a point. What's my point? My point is that every reaction has its own Kc formula. So let's just write that down here. Every reaction has its own Kc formula. Okay, and we're going to do some exercises in writing down um, the, the formulae in the next video. Okay, so here you can see this is the reactants are A, B, and the products are C and D. And these coefficients in front of each of these reactants are the balancing mole ratios, right? Balancing mole ratios. Okay, so you simply take the concentration of each reactant and you put them at the bottom and you raise them to the power of the balancing mole ratio. And then you take the, the, the products and that goes as the numerator and you raise each of the products to the balancing mole ratio for their side. So on the next slide you can actually see this a bit more clearly. So let's just clear that uh, and let's bring it up over here. Okay, so again, here's our reaction. A and B, they give me C and D, and it's balanced with little a, little b, little c, little d, right? And we write the formula down as follows. We say Kc, which K represents the equilibrium constant. The little c over here tells us that it's shown in terms of concentration. And the reason that's important is because in chemistry you find the equilibrium constant not only in terms of concentration, but it could have been Kp, which is known as the equilibrium constant in terms of partial pressures. But we in grade 12 in South Africa are concerned only with the equilibrium constant in terms of concentrations, at least for now. Okay, what do these square brackets represent? Well, they talk to us and they represent concentration. So, in order for this formula to be successful, I must work with concentrations. Okay, then when we look at this, the right hand side of the equation, of the, of the reaction equation, in other words, the products, these are written on top, and the, and the left hand side of the equation, which is this side, that goes at the bottom, the reactance goes at the bottom, okay. Okay, and then the indices are the numbers in front of each substance in the chemical equation. Those powers that you see over there are the balancing mole ratios that you can see, A, B, C, D, little a, little b, little c, little d, okay, which goes there. Okay, so that just gives you the basic formula, and in the next video we're going to write down a few examples of the equilibrium constant.